How are people doing? Tired. Oh, so am I. Well, we've got coffee for that. Hopefully it's enough. Uh, we're playing this month's patron pick. Uh, Y'all picked Brianna Lay, uh, who has two games on itch. Uh, one of which was about an hour, and one of which was three to four hours long. So we're playing the longer one. It'll be great. Did they ask the butterflies? Were butterflies harmed in the making of this game? No, it's for butterflies, uh, by butterflies. Of butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> I actually know nothing else about it other than that it is gay and it has baseball, so. Oh, huh. Yeah. Or gay ball if you want to. And I know that you do. Oh, we selected our character. Huh. Dia. Somewhere between third and fourth grade. Oh, we're going back now. Once upon a time, there lived a princess called Mencio. She liked weapons. Everyone was terrified of her. She threatened you with knives and steal and break your things. She always got sent to the principal's office because she was bad. Still, she was a lovely princess, and tragically, she was cursed to prick her finger on a spindle and die. What? That... What? Sure enough, one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. Wow, alright. And she fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Uh, game over, man. At least she was supposed to. Instead, the princess sat up and abruptly said, This is the worst story in history. I'm escaping. What? Wait, wait! Man, man, that's not how it goes. I'm right, I'm right here, the evil dragon. I killed you already. Oh, my mouse moves around the background. That's so weird. Uh, uh, uh with what? A gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what have you got there? A knife. <laughs> no. <laughs> d d y you don't have a gun. I made one out of rocks. I approve of this. Oh no, she's got an Arthur t-shirt. The hero has arrived as Min Sio's twin. He's trying to reason with her. Min, that's impossible. Who cares? If I have a gun, I win. Do you want to be Dia? Sure. Since this is apparently the one who's telling the story. It's difficult to argue against Min's brand of logic. Okay, you win. Let's just start over. This time someone else be the princess, not me. I'm the only girl left, so I guess that's me. Fine. Dia Dee's does seem more like the princess type anyway. What's that supposed to mean? You're really pretty. Aww. And it's cute how your hair curls like that. It makes you look like a princess. Uh, I just meant that she's less violent. But whatever. Second try. Alright, take two. Welcome to Butterfly Soup. <laughs> Once upon a time. There lived a girl named Dia. She was really quiet. It wasn't that she had nothing to say. It was more like she was afraid if she opened her mouth, something would come out that shouldn't. She once held onto an apple core for 45 minutes because she didn't want people to see her walk across the classroom to the trash can. It was that kind of quiet. She was also insanely athletic. Who remembers that under her shirt she had a six pack? <laughs> of course, light. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Tragically, despite how buff she was, this princess was also cursed to touch a spindle and die. And one day, like a total idiot, she touched one. And she fell into a deep, death-like slumber. Nothing could break the spell but her true love's kiss. For many years, she... Dia, get up. I'm here to rescue you. Ha ha ha. Only the hero can wake her. That's me. I'm the hero. Wait, no? It's supposed to be Gen Seo. No, it's me. Uh, huh? But if you're if you're the hero, then what am I? Uh, <laughs> a gun. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, I love her so much. Oh. <laughs> Hold well, on, I need to read Gun's line. <laughs> what? 
Min grabs Jin's arm and aims it at the dragon. Bang! You're dead. Nice try, but I deflected the bullet with my own bullet. <laughs> I have a gun too. <laughs> gun this time without question. <laughs> Why? You're a dragon. A dragon. Uh huh. This is America. Everyone has a gun. Oof. <laughs> Dia rises to her feet. I also have a gun. Oh shit! Who are we shoot it? Can we shoot the t already deflected bullet? Yeah. And then shoot that back at the. Does that how that it shoots it back at the dragon? Yeah. Deflected the deflected bullet with my own bullet. <laughs> <laughs> it's still your so line. So Jin's original bullet is going toward him again. That's unnecessarily complicated. Why don't you just shoot him directly? This way is cooler. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. But too bad. The bullet bounces off of me. How is that possible? My dragon skills are stronger than tank armor. Take that. Pulls out an anti-tank rifle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say about this gun? <laughs> Maybe we can resolve this without fighting then. Let's talk it over. Violence solves everything. I'm making a new gun with rocks. <laughs> are you replacing me? Yeah. Sorry. Bang. Dragon's dead. Uh, did you forget? I'm bulletproof. But my gun didn't shoot a bullet. My gun shot a smaller <laughs> gun. <laughs> we shot a knife. Which exploded. Oh, God. <laughs> so, question. Has Vin see you in any way related to Mr. Torg? Almost certainly. Uh, what was the point of the smaller gun <laughs> in the middle? It's there to shoot the knife. No, but why couldn't the original gun shoot the knife? I mean, it gives you an incredulous look. Because it was shooting out the smaller gun. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so let's say my elbow is injured now. So if you touch that, I lose. Rah! Min lunges at him. He sidesteps and darts up the steps to the slide. When Min catches up, he spins so his back is to the wall. She looks like she's having trouble. Do you need help? What? No! The evil dragon faints to the right. Min falls for it, and he rushes past her, back the way he came. <gasps> Min trips and face plants on the bridge. <gasps> Before Min can see, Dia quickly picks the evil dragon up and hurls him off the playground structure like a sack of potatoes. Ah! Wait, you're the princess. You can't just do that. Hmm... Dia throws him off the playground structure too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love this. This is so good. As she disappears over the edge, Min pulls herself back to her feet. I've got the high ground. No. <laughs> Where is everyone? They. Uh. Balcony collapsed. Castle's under construction. Oh shit. This is a Mario Maker 2 tie in? Yeah. <laughs> I rescued you. My hero. Yeah, I'm your hero. Min is struggling to Princess carry Dia down the slide with her. Dia could destroy her in a single punch if she wanted to, but she's patiently going along with it. I owe you my life. How can I repay you? You can can r repay me with the thud. <laughs> This is so wholesome and funny. I love this. Uh, my name is Dia. I don't really know what else to say about myself. I'm pretty boring. The other girl is Min Seo. Everyone calls her Min. 
She's so cool. Do you see that thing on her arm? She drew a giant dagger on it with Sharpie, like a tattoo. And in class, she makes ninja stars out of binder paper and throws them at people. She stamps them with staples so they hurt more. <laughs> staples? That's not what they're for. Those are for exclusively putting bread on <laughs> trees. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. But she never throws them at me. I think it's mainly because I'm the only other girl she knows who likes baseball. Calling it baseball is a metaphor for being a lesbian. <laughs> Nailed it. We both used to think we were the only one in the world, so we were both really excited to meet each other. I really like her. Watching the pros play baseball always makes me so jealous. It must be so fun being on a real team like that. The catcher has gone up to the mound for a conference with his pitcher. For secrecy's sake, they're talking with their gloves over their mouths. Someday, that's gonna be us. Yeah! Hmm? Wait, what? But how? Your parents won't even let you join my team because you're a girl. Besides, when I grow up, I'll be a doctor or engineer. Huh? How come? My parents said so. So, my parents said to pass my math test, and I failed. <laughs> That's not something to be proud of. I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't be able to handle disappointing my parents like that. It's like my worst fear. If your worst fear is disappointing your parents, that means your parents effed up. You should be able to do what you want without worrying about what they think. I don't know, that seems selfish. It's not selfish to choose your own destiny. I've got a very important question. Yeah. Do we think Min's bandage is actually covering up a wound, or is she just one of those people that wears a bandage because she's in a cartoon? Yes, and <laughs> yes. <clears throat> right now, we're at the Oakland Coliseum with Min's dad and Jun. I guess I should explain where Oakland is to people who don't live in California. Wait, I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where San Francisco is? Well, we're not there. We're like 30 minutes from there. Hey, Dia. Hmm? I have something I need to tell you. Something important. I, uh... Uh... Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> hmm? I like Dia's expression, just like... I have no idea how to parse what just happened here. I'm just gonna stare blankly into it. <laughs> I said forget it. Don't worry about it. Aren't you having fun right now? Are you hungry or anything? Why are you changing the subject? <laughs> Do you want me to take over one of these two since it I, I... <laughs> Probably yes, since it seems like I took both the main characters. Yeah, I don't think we- I don't think our auto divvy feature worked. Yeah. <laughs> if you're trying to distract me, it's not gonna work. Let's go get popcorn and share. <gasps> popcorn is great. I like popcorn. Min is so nice to me. Just tell me when you're ready to go. The popcorn guy is a few rows behind us. Oh, we can use the mouse to interact? Sure can. She's cradling something in her arms. Dog? No, a gun. Dia quickly tries <laughs> shooting a smaller gun. To a severe disappointment, it's a baby. This is Jun Seo's seat. He went to the bathroom with Dad. I think Min's going for the loudest sound in history world record. What do you mean, safe? You need to get some goddamn laser eye surgery! I hope the person you like likes someone else! Give me a break! <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great- oh! Huh? I choked on my own spit. She looks absolutely mortified, so Dia turns back to the diamond and pretends she didn't see anything. <gasps> I hope the person you like likes someone else! Min. Yeah? Oh, we have options here! We do. 
Oh, I think if we go get popcorn, we probably move on. So let's talk about baseball. You know, I've been wondering for a while. If your parents won't let you play baseball, why don't you just play softball instead? Give me your hand. I'll show you. Uh, huh? Dia offers Min her hand. Min presses their palms together so their hands line up. Her fingertips end a whole inch below Dia's. Her hands are tiny! I guess that makes sense since her name's Min. The rest of her is Minnie, too. My hand is too small to grip a softball correctly. I can't even pitch them. They always slip out halfway through the windup. Huh? Are softballs that much bigger than baseballs? Yeah. But that makes no sense. Shouldn't guys play softball and girls play baseball then? Since guys usually have bigger hands? Backwards! Why was it designed like that? Beats me. Hope we're in the same class next year. Y yeah. Actually, about that. Uh. Huh? Never mind, everything's fine. This is really suspicious? She's acting weird again like earlier. What? What is it? Do you not want to be in the same class as me? No, that's not it. It's just that I won't be... Uh... Um... Forget it. Is this related to what she couldn't tell me before? I bet Junsia would know what this is about. Do we want to press? Maybe. Are you sure everything is okay? Y yeah, stop worrying. I don't think I'm getting any more questioning her like this. Popcorn Let's go time. get popcorn. Let's go. Okay. Dia and Min got up. I saw the popcorn guy pass these people. Min is gawking excitedly at all the baseball fans milling about. Look, there's so many white people here. Yeah. It's just like on TV. <laughs> oh no. It hurts because it's true. <laughs> It really is. The neighborhood we live in is so Asian, I used to think white people were really rare. Let's get all these people are in our way right now, though. Can't get through. Could ask them to move. Uh, excuse me. No one seems to hear her. Eh. That was the worst. Never speaking again. Time to become a mime. <laughs> Oof. Relatable. Don't worry, Dia. I'll take care of it. Uh, okay. Min grabs someone's baseball bat off the ground and starts hitting people with it. Combo! Hey, you dummies! Move or I'll kill you! Startled, people are moving aside. <laughs> Strangers glance over in Dia's direction as she walks by. One whispers something to the other. They both burst out laughing. Are they laughing at me? I hope not. Min continues to forge a path, leaving a trail of destruction behind her. <laughs> Tie and beat em up game where it's just men with a baseball <laughs> fighting on regular people. Strangers. <laughs> Move or I'll kill your entire family. Even your dang fish won't survive. I'll throw all your fish out into the middle of the street so cars will run over them. Mm. That doesn't look bad, but Min really isn't a bad person. She always lets me be Luigi in Mario Kart. And whenever I land her in Space Monopoly, she says I don't need to pay her. Die! Wait, you have to- she lets you be Luigi? I don't know if being Luigi is something someone lets you do. Luigi is- being Luigi is something that you kind of have to be. False. Luigi is an elemental force. <laughs> you don't be Luigi. Luigi becomes you. Mm -hmm. Channels himself through you. Alright. What you- No. <laughs> no, Luigi's bad. He's the green Mario. How can you say this in this, the year of Luigi? It's not. It's, what is this, the third year of Luigi then? I don't know. <laughs> Replace calendar with years of Luigi. Ah, we're almost there now. <gasps> Doggo! Ah, it's dog, cute dog. It doesn't look very strong. I bet I could kill it one hit. Don't do that. I'm going to pet it. Okay. All I have to do is ask, excuse me, can we pet your dog? I better practice a few times so I don't mess up when I really say it. Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Excuse me, can we pet your dog? Alright, I got this. Let us pet your dog or else. D that works too. Go ahead, she won't bite. I'll fight you. Wait, Min, Min, he already agreed. Oh, right. Pet dog! Dia pets the dog. 
Dog closes its eyes and smiles. <gasps> Dia's almost in tears. She's like a living rug. If you had a dog, what would you name it? Good question. Palm <laughs> or sheep. Palm. Okay. Palm. What the heck kind of name is that? A cool name. Short for Pomeranian. That's way too simple. Then what would you name your dog, Min? Me? Hmm. Min is thinking with an intense look on her face. Skull Crusher. <gasps> Dia is silently laughing at her. Of course you choose a name like that. What? It's better than Palm. No, it's not. Palm is Palm. What's wrong with Palm? We can look at the dog again. What a cute dog. When five dogs want to grow up, it'll be like having five friends. Min will probably train them all to attack dogs, though. <gasps> She's thinking about Min with her when she grows up. Yeah. Aww. Popcorn. Get your popcorn here. Is, is he a Pokemon? Popcorn. 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 He looks busy. I give up. Time to walk away. Hey, Grandpa. Give us popcorn or else. <gasps> Min is so brave. Then you better pay up. These are $10 a bucket. $10? What a rip off. Min hit the man in the groin with her bat. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Oof! The man sinks to the ground as if he's been shot. Min grabs a popcorn bucket off of his tray. <sighs> I got it. Let's go. He's still curled up in pain. We better go before he recovers and comes after us. This seems like an extremely bad idea. Ugh. That's your first time. Oh, yeah. it's my dad. Yuck. Min's dad is really mad at her for cutting her hair like that. He's speaking Korean on the phone. I wonder what he's talking about. Min only taught me one through four so far. Dia must have been frowning without knowing it because Min speaks up. Do you want to learn more? You sure. How do you say hi in Korean? Hi. Easy. It's, uh, hmm. Huh? Does she not know how to say it? I don't know um, how to say that. Sarang eh? Sarang eh? Hmm. Huh, I don't speak Korean. Yeah. Min is staring at Dia with complicated expression on her face. What? Am I saying it right? Y yeah, that was good. Cool. Now I can greet you and Jun see you like this. Oh wait, she didn't just teach her she didn't just teach her how to say hi, did she? <laughs> N no, wait, you can't say that to Jun. <gasps> Hold on. We'll find out soon enough. We'll, we'll, it'll come up organically, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I called it. <laughs> uh, why not? Because, uh, it's a special kind of hello. You can only say it to certain people, like me. Oh, is it one of those things where, like, if you use the wrong one, it's really bad? Yeah, something like that. It's tough to explain. But it's correct when I say it to you. Yeah. It's only say it to me. Got it. Got it. Wow, Korean is really complicated. What about you? How do you say hi? <laughs> <laughs> well, I I uh, I I think I think one I, I think one good turn deserves another. <laughs> <laughs> I like to fart. What the? That's so long! I, uh... I like to fart. I like to fart. <gasps> What's so funny? Nothing, your pronunciation is great. <laughs> uh, that will not come to kick us in the ass later, will it? Can't make out what they're saying. I hope they're not saying bad stuff about me. So talking on the phone. Doesn't sound like he's using the phrase Min just taught me. <laughs> I guess there's not a lot of opportunity to say hi in the middle of a conversation. Hey, let's hurry up and sit down. Jun Seo is probably wondering where we are. <sighs> She's right. Poor Jun Seo. There you guys are! Where'd you guys go? The do Oh wait, that's you. Oh, it's me now. The dog. Dia, that's really cryptic. Is it? Here, take this. Min gives Dia the popcorn bucket. 
Man, where'd you get that bat? Please don't tell me you did something bad. Yeah, it was fun. No, you have to stop stealing and threatening people. It's dangerous. What if someone came after you? I beat them. Even if there was a bear, I'd kill it with my bear hands. Man, that's impossible. <laughs> Punch it real hard in the head, like, wham, dead. It's not that easy. You'll just get mauled. Yeah, right. I'll dodge. I bet I can kill two different bears at once. Man, no. It's useless. I don't think Min's brain even knows what fear is. Jeez, Jun, you really sound like Noelle sometimes. Noelle is my best friend. She's the kid in class who goes, But wait, you forgot to collect our homework. I introduced Min to her a while back, but it was like hate at first sight. I think Min wants to kill her. Someday, when Dia decides she doesn't like Noelle anymore, I'll kill her. I'll kill her to death. Don't do that. Even though Noelle is taller than you, someday I'll be the tallest. I won't lose to her. What does that have to do with anything? Also, if I was peeling an orange for you, I'd make sure to get all the white stringy stuff off, too. I bet <laughs> Noelle wouldn't do that. What the heck kind of a scenario is this? Why would you guys even be peeling oranges for me? Just because. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I was tricked! Oh, right, because that, that one had the baby, not the... <laughs> Let's look at the diamond. Nothing really interesting is happening right now. I guess I'll check back later. Sup, Min? Min? Yeah? Dia holds out, holds out the popcorn bucket. Thanks. Min happily grabs a fistful of popcorn and stuffs it into her mouth hole. Junseo. Popcorn, please. Dia holds out the popcorn bucket. Thanks. Junsu took a single piece of popcorn. You can take more than that. Do you want to? Sure. Sure. Okay. Really? You're so nice. Junsu took another single piece of popcorn. <laughs> Is there something going on with Min? Like, did she do a felony? Are the police after her? Uh, not that I know of. Why? She's been acting kind of weird all day. It's like she's hiding something. Really? I haven't noticed anything odd. Huh. I guess if, if even Jun Siu isn't concerned, everything is fine. Whew, I can just enjoy the game without worrying now. Never mind. Okay, still never minding. Popcorn. No, we gotta look at the diamond. Visiting team is pitching now. Whoa, some kid behind us is talking to his dad. Dad, who's that? It's Tim Wakefield. He's a knuckleball pitcher. It's always fun watching these guys. Knuckleballers are pretty rare. The movement on that pitch is nuts, like a butterfly with hiccups. Wow, some people actually talk to their parents on purpose, like for fun. I can't even imagine it. Every time I talk to my parents, it somehow turns into a lecture about something I did wrong. So I want to talk to them now when I absolutely have to. How come they switched catchers, too? Because catching a knuckleball is really unpleasant and difficult. If you can do it reasonably well, no one does it really well, that one skill can keep you on the team. A lot of knuckleball pitchers end up having one catcher who specializes in catching that pitch just for them. They're called personal catchers. For instance, J.C. Martin always caught Hoyt Wilhelm's knuckleball. And Doug Mirabelli always catches Tim Wakefield in his knuckleball for the Red Sox. The two of them even get traded together as a set. It's like a weird baseball marriage. Hmm. Baseball marriage. Weird baseball marriage. Dia, I have a great idea. I should learn to throw knuckleball and you can catch it for me. Wait, but didn't they just say it's really hard to catch? So what? You're like a baseball goddess. You're overestimating me. Not that great. Just got lucky that one time. You've gotten lucky so many times I don't even know which one you're talking about. No, you don't understand. All those were flukes. They just happened by chance. I don't have special technique or anything. Your special technique is being you. You're the best. You're putting too much faith in me. I'm not that good. 
See what I'm really like, you'll be like, that's it? I'll never think that. Even if I could catch it, are you really willing to be a pitcher? Why not? The pitcher is the coolest. You're so brave. I hate pitching. Why? You get to stand on the mound and kick ass in front of everyone. That's exactly why. I don't want people watching every move I make. Especially if I'm the only girl. If I mess up, I'll look like all girls suck at baseball. Then don't mess up. That's hard. It's a situation where you can't help but be scared. Anyway, I'll be there with you. If there's two of us, we both have to mess up for them to think that. <gasps> so don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. Hmm. That's kind of comforting. I've always been alone out there. It'll be you and me against the world. Okay, let's do it. Spin-off game where it's just them doing Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> Spin-off game where it's a baseball sports game. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat popcorn. Dia, eat some popcorn. 1010 10 would eat again. Nice. <sighs> Still nothing new yet. Anything new, Jean? No. All right, I guess we just keep watching the game. You better hit the ball. It pops up. Ow. It's coming towards us. Dia catches the ball in the popcorn bucket. Nice. Whoa. I'm glad we got some before the, the ball came in. I got so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Dia, that was so cool. You're so cool. Dia fishes the ball out of the half-emptied tub. I better give this to June or Min. My parents think I went to study at Noelle's house. It'd be too suspicious to bring a baseball back. Min sits back down. Apparently she had gotten up at some point to jump around and scream. She still looks really odd. Thanks. Huh? For what? Existing. Oh, let's get the ball to Min. Yeah. Min, take this ball, please. Dia holds the baseball out to Min. Can I really have it? I'll treasure it forever. If anyone else touches it, I'll kill them. That's way too extreme. It's a big deal, though. Now we'll always have something to remember you by. Aww. Huh? What do you mean, remember me by? Makes it sound like I'm going to die or something. That's the secret. You're gonna die. Jun, you know, we watched this new f uh, this tape on YouTube. It's called The Ring, maybe for... <laughs> Jun Seo looks alarmed by Dia's response. Did Min not tell you? Huh? Tell me what? Shut R the hell your mouth. But what the heck? Shut the hell your, <laughs> shut the hell your mouth. <laughs> it's nothing. Fuck the shut up. <laughs> Min gets up and runs for it. Min. I've got to go after her. Dia chases Min up the steps and down the concourse. They arrive through. Min! Dia grabs the back of Min's hoodie. Min loses her balance and face plants onto the carpet. Are you okay? We're moving away. Huh? Where? To Florida. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? So sudden. It wasn't sudden. I've known for a long time. I tried everything to stop it. I even threatened Dad with a knife. A knife? I can't believe it failed. Violence is always the answer. Uh, Florida, that's all the way across the country. There's nothing there except old people. No alligators live there too. I saw it on Animal Planet. <laughs> so this is it then? This is it. Sorry. That's not fair. We can't even send letters because my parents hate you so much. I won't see you the rest of my life. Hey, just because I'm moving doesn't mean we'll never meet again. If I want to see you, and you want to see me, eventually it'll end up happening again, right? How do you know? I just know. That's not a reason. Then, because... Suddenly, Min seizes Dia's arm. She looks like she's had an epiphany. If you say our names together, it sounds like... Diamonds. Oh wait, have I been pronouncing it wrong? Daya? Ah, oh, shit, I've been pronouncing it wrong. What? Like Daya Min. Daya Min. Diamond. See? It's even more like if you say our na your oh, name wrong. like So we did have it right. Oh, it's even more like if you say your name wrong, like Daya instead of Dia. I did have it right. The double fake out. I'm not saying my name wrong just to make it sound like Diamond. But it's more equal like that. I got my name cut in half to make it work, so I had to sacrifice something too. 
I already call you Min. No one says Daya. The substitute teacher does. Did I read your line and then just move past it? I don't know. Sorry. Substitute teacher sucks. How do you even think of this? I was checking if our names sounded like anything good together. Like baseball. How could it possibly sound like baseball? Our parents would have had to name us Base and Ball. <laughs> I know, I know. It would have been great. But still, it's pretty cool that we match it all, right? It's even baseball related. The universe is saying that we're meant to be together. Whoa, I guess she's right. We'll meet again, no matter what. I'll bet you $100. Wait, but how are you going to give me the $100 if you lose? Huh? I just will. No, but if you're able to meet me, that means you won the bet. What? Technically, I guess. There's nothing technical about it. You just straight up wouldn't pay me. It's a long silence. She still doesn't get it. <laughs> Never mind, it's okay. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. The point is, this isn't the end. I won't give up if you don't give up, okay? Okay. I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. Okay. That's the one thing she takes to heart. <laughs> Five years later, ninth grade. She shows up again, alive, covered in alligator scars. Uh, no more alligators in Florida. What? In the entire state? Or <laughs> <laughs> I have to get ready for school. Dia hits her alarms and flops face first on into the bed. Dia's morning routine includes lying in bed for ten minutes. Think about how tired she is. Only ten minutes. Do it. Extremely powerful. Anyway, uh, uh, ten minute break to lie in... Uh, ten minute, minute break to lie in bed and think about how tired we are. <laughs> At checks note 7.08 p.m. <laughs> Only got two hours of sleep. No, oh, I don't want to get up. Oh, ten minutes pass like this. Once the allotted time is up, Dia unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands. After stretching for a few moments, she starts by getting ready for school. Hmm? You can tell she's older because her face got more oblong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. Indeed. When you're ancient, you're all face. <laughs> Your face is just like a, like a tall oval. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no, don't stretch out my face. I want to... Oh, 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 no, very compact face. That's why Hey Arnold is so young. He's all the way in the other direction. What are you doing to your... I'm stretching my face. I see. You know, that was very funny to me, but now I'm worried that we accidentally hit on some, like, face size stereotyping, and now I'm like, oh, was that just a really white thing to do? I it hope might... not. I hope not. Let me know in the comments if that was a really white thing to do for some reason. <laughs> anyway, my classmate, Ak 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 Akarsha, has messaged me. I don't want to check my computer. You have to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, Dia. Hey. Hey. Hmm. What? Dia, you like Pringles, right? <gasps> yeah, why? Huh? Go outside. Huh? XD. Yowie Semi has gone offline. H huh? Dia goes outside. There's a <laughs> Pringle sitting on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely unimpressed Dia face. <laughs> hey. Sup, Tommy. This is a Carson. She's the kind of person who doesn't give pencils back. You know, when you become friends with someone just because you have to see them so much? Yeah, that's us. My parents are always saying I should be more outgoing like her. Like, that's something I could just change. Hey, Dia, you know what's the best weed? It's when I'm weed you. Dia <laughs> briskly begins walking away without her. Aw, <laughs> oh, you're no fun. Have it your way, Burger King. The <laughs> car is half jogging to keep up with Dia. Hey, Dia. Did you know that your eye has something called immune privilege? This basically means that the outside of your eye prevents your immune system from knowing about the inside of your eye. If it didn't, your immune system would destroy your eyes. That doesn't sound right. I don't believe you. Why not? Because you lie to me all the time. No one else said not to trust you no matter what. Wait, what? When? 
When we first met you this year, after you accused her of being a robot with artificially implanted human emotions. Hey, she got annoyed when I pressed a magnet to her head. That means she's a replicant and it was messing with her circuits. Checkmate. Checkmate, atheists. <laughs> no, she was annoyed because you pressed a magnet to her head. Aw, come on. I was just trying to make a good first impression. What's a girl to do? Not that. Poor me. No one feels sorry for you. There's a bunch of adults dressed in yellow at the intersection, <laughs> waving signs. What is that? They're trying to take away gay marriage. Gay marriage is allowed? Dude, it's been legal for a few years now. Oh, wasn't paying attention. Protect marriage! Yes, and proper! My dick is small! <laughs> marriage equals one man and one woman! Smiling woman with a baby strapped to her back brandishes her sign as Dee and Akarsha walk past. Says, I heart my gay brother still yes on eight. Oof. No, wow. you don't. What? Oh, that's your line. What kind of cognitive dissonance? Hey, Dia. Would you eat a <laughs> tiny two-inch person alive for $100 million? Why is this game the funniest thing in the world? Holy This is incredible. Shit. I'm so happy we're playing this. Oh, my God. I'd eat him. I would eat him. <laughs> I'd do it. I would do it. Would you do it? I don't I don't know. Is is he into it? Is it like a vor thing? I we don't have that information. You you don't know. It matters a lot. It does, but you don't know. You have to make this decision without knowing. The trolley problem, but <laughs> from my mouth. But for two inch person vor. Uh I'm thinking uh Dia would not eat him, but yeah. I wanna say I'd eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Dia nods. Dang, you wouldn't feel bad at all? You realize he dies. But he's only two inches tall. He's still a real dude, man. What are you? Some kind of short people hater? This is on a whole another level from short. His brain must be the size of a pea. Dude, imagine. What if you were the tiny guy? If I were him, I'd go into a total panic. I would scream and squirm. I wouldn't want to get eaten. Why are we even talking about this? <laughs> we made it to school. I should go to my locker first before going to class. Suddenly, Akarsha takes off running. Uh, where are you going? Huh? It's pee pee time. Can you not say things like that? Also, I like how Dia has the same Nike swoosh hat that she had when she was younger. This entire time, from the angle I'm looking at the screen, I couldn't distinguish the color, so I thought that, that the Nike swoosh was just part of her hairstyle. Oh. Until you mentioned that, and I moved over here and was like, Oh, that's totally a hat. Akarsha <laughs> left the party. I thought it was just like some sort of inverse ahoge coming off the front from over this angle. No, not not quite. <laughs> <laughs> she never takes a day off from being weird. Oh. Should use the locker first. Geometry! That's it. That's all of it. Just right there. That's where you measure Geo, dude. Oh, D opens her locker. It's technically both me and Noelle's locker. School doesn't have enough lockers for everyone, so the freshmen share. They're tiny. I'm always surprised when high schoolers and movies have lockers big enough to fit people inside. Yeah, I never got that. Get our stuff. Dia lifts her books and binders into her backpack. All right, I can go to class now. Ooh. We <laughs> this is Rosen for string and oh re oh is it is it pronounced resin? Rosin? I... Good question. I forget. I it was just rosin. For it to know and show it to me, I tried to eat it. Yeah, not gonna lie, it looked really tasty. Do we want to look in her lunchbox or are we respecting her privacy? I want to look in her lunchbox because there's story content in it. Yeah, that's... Dio opens the lunchbox and peers inside. There's a steel thermos and a plastic baggie of grapes. How is this grapes. word pronounced? Dia shovels half the grapes into her mouth before putting the lunchbox back. No! Huh? Oh no, we've become Okabe. <laughs> Stealing other people's lunches. I know it's also called colophony or Greek pitch, but I still don't know how colophony? to pronounce it. Yeah. That's amazing. Why don't we call it colophony? I don't know. We're going to go to class now. How the fuck do you pronounce it? Hey, hey, hey. What's up? You want to you wanna do Noelle's lines? Dia, help me. 
D uh, it's Noel. What is it? Rosin. Oh, okay. There we go. Rosin. All right. <laughs> don't do it a third time. I don't know if people can actually hear that on the microphone. <laughs> I can't open this water bottle. Noel basically has noodles for arms. We'll open the water bottle, but first we're going to sit here and just stare for a moment and let you bask in our power. <laughs> our dominance of being able to open the water bottle. It is pretty impressive. I say this from experience. Dia takes the bottle out of Noel's hands and twists the plastic sealed cap open. Thank you. How are you so weak? It's scary. It's the manufacturer's fault for making these seals so strong. What if you get lost in a desert and find a bottle of water? You'll die because you can't open it. No, I won't. You can open it for me. That's assuming I'm there in the desert with you. You should start charging you a service fee of 25 cents. You wouldn't do that. I'd make a dollar twenty-five per week. You can buy cup noodles from the student store. No one else sneezes violently. Don't get too close to me. I probably have the flu. Aww. Did you catch what I had last week? Probably. Sorry. This happens a lot because we spend so much time together. And I eat our food. Doesn't help that our immune systems are perpetually weakened from sleep deprivation either. At least you don't have to worry about me being contagious. Are you okay, though? Shouldn't you go home? And what? Miss school? I guess that's out of the question. Even when Noelle had the stomach flu in middle school, her parents made her come just for the math and science classes. She was, like, barely conscious. I had to carry her around because she couldn't get up from her desk. I think she ended up infecting half the school. Where's Akarsha? She... It's pee-pee time. I love the expression. I am not saying that. <laughs> okay, never mind. Why do you ask? I secretly sewed a library book security tag to the inside of Akarsha's backpack. <laughs> so from now on, every time she leaves the library, she'll set off the alarm and have her backpack searched. That's... wow. Well, whatever. We'll have plenty of chances to see. Let's go. A huge mob of kids is packed outside the classroom. They're all looking at a grid of test scores posted on the wall. It's complete chaos. People are pushing and angling their way to the list with the fervor of believers trying to touch Justin's hand. Did, did they ever do that in your high school? Or they just posted test scores out on the wall? Like, that never happened in our school. We were in the same one. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, ne my head works weird. Because I know we went to the same high school, but we never, ever talked or hung out or yeah. ever. So always in my head, I'm like, oh, I never saw you in high school. Therefore, you must have gone to a different high school. <laughs> Despite the fact that we were in the same goddamn high school. We were. I am going to go ahead and just crawl over here and pretend that I know things about my wife. Bye. I'll crawl over there, too, and no. pretend that I know things about me. No, continue the episode. If I got a B, my parents are throwing away my GameCube. That's why I aimed for a C. Yikes, that's gotta be an empty threat, right? I wish. They already threw away my cell phone. Oh. I'm scared to see what I got on this. I think I failed. Asian failed or actually failed? Asian failed. Come on, I'm not that dumb. We can ignore the scores. We can just ignore the scores. But we shouldn't. This is a list of the top 10 scores across all periods. Noelle, I aced it. Classic. She used to call me on the phone crying every Christmas because her parents got her math workbooks instead of what she really wanted. By now she's unbeatable. It's like her tragic superhero origin story. Except instead of a superhero, she's got every Asian parent's dream child. No clue how Akarsha managed to get the second highest score, though. The general consensus is that she's cheating, but the teachers have never been able to catch her doing anything. So I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Dia, I've located your ID number. Here. You got a 91.22%. Whew! Almost failed. Actually, you could have missed one more and still scraped an A-. minus. Considering how many I guessed on, that's cutting it pretty close. That's scary. I feel like I studied hard as I could, but even my best wasn't good enough. I wonder if I can really get into Stanford or Berkeley like this. Shit. Yeah, right. Too scary. Yeah, no talking to other students. Yep. Yep. So I know that that's a stereotype, but that's act that's actually based in, like, a cultural pressure that... 
I, you, that's not something that I would yeah. know. As Dean and Noelle entered the classroom, something burst out of the cabinet. Who? Ah! Noelle staggers backward onto an X marked on the floor with duct tape. A garbage can dropped from the ceiling. No! Ha ha ha! Noelle and Akarsha go through the same, some variation of this every single day. It's their roundabout way of being friends. Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Frenchman, Noelle. Please stop calling me that. Why are you speaking English, Noel? What kind of Frenchman are you? Just because my name is French doesn't mean I'm French. Ho ho ho. Baguette. See, this is the problem. Whenever Noel hears something stupid, she can't just let it slide. She always has to correct it. So Karsha just keeps acting dumber and dumber on purpose into infinity. Noel does an impressive worm like dance to wriggle out of the garbage bin. I don't think our school had... I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I don't think our school had that level of hijinks, did it? I don't think anyone's school did. I think that this is cartoonish and silly on purpose. But then like... again, maybe yours did. In which case, congrats on surviving. Yeah. What about, what about your high school? Did your... <laughs> did your high school have that kind of... Uh, those pranks? Yeah. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's an interesting high school that you went to and no one else. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Truce. From yesterday, you agreed to this. Noah pulls a sheet of butter paper from her book bag and brandishes it in front of Akarsha's face. Look, this is your own signature at the bottom. Hmm. Suddenly I can't read. Akarsha! <laughs> that face palm. Noah's scream sounds very weird and hoarse from her cold. What's wrong with your voice today? That was a weaker yell than normal. I'm ill. I am losing my voice. How about I punch you in the throat? It'll displace the mucus. No, it won't. How do you know? Anything is possible. Trust me. I'm here. Something, something, something. You are... <laughs> Sorry, I took your line. You are the absolute last person I would trust. You worthless scammer. <laughs> Leave all your problems to me. I'll solve them in a heartbeat. That is unrealistic and well, keep reading your lines. I'm sorry. You can be Noel if you want. No. That is unrealistic and accelerating <laughs> that fast would destroy you even past your bone structure. <gasps> Why are you being so mean? I'm just trying to help you. Hitting me isn't helping me. Wow. Someone has anger management problems. You gotta slow down and smell the flowers. Appreciate life's miracles. Like me, I'm life's greatest miracle. I love her expression of like, yep, all this right here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I feel nauseated just looking at you. I just don't understand. Why is there so much hate in the world? <laughs> and they rejected his message before he spoke the truth. <laughs> <laughs> only we could open our hearts to love, there would be no wars. Peace begins with a smile. Mother Teresa. Noelle is struggling not to break character by laughing. <laughs> the bell rings! This concludes Noelle and Akarsha's daily morning screen fest. <laughs> the rest of the morning is relatively uneventful. Guess what? What? No, no, you gotta guess. You were arrested. What? No! You have a year left to live. What the? Dude, why do you always gotta jump to the worst possible conclusion? It guarantees that I'm either right or pleasantly surprised. <laughs> You're a real piece of work, you know that? Whatever, I'll just tell you. Did you guys hear about the new girl who transferred here? A transfer student? A trans stu transfer student? Apparently she's like a delinquent. I heard she knifed someone. A knife! She must not be very intelligent. Isn't that exciting? We never get that type around here. That's true. Everyone here is kind of forced to become a nerd by default. <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. What for? Do you want to get stabbed too? Sure, why not? Saves me the trouble of doing it myself. <laughs> Akarsha, do you need to talk to someone? <laughs> no, rolls her eyes and goes back to organizing her fried rice. She's picking all the sausage bit out so Dia can eat her leftovers. 
Don't do that. I like being alive the same time as you. <laughs> oh, that's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Really? Then I take it back. Wow! <laughs> Noel slides her thermos across the table at Dia. Cry eyes. Hey, Dia. How many second graders do you think you could beat up if they came at you in waves of ten? With a fifth grader boss coming every five waves. <laughs> a few dozen, probably. Yeah, I think we've established that Dia is the party tank. Right. And can absolutely take at least a few dozen. Noel is the caster. Okay. Is the caster like the bard? Yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Min is the row. At least a few Dutch. <laughs> She's not here yet. <laughs> Savage. You don't feel bad hitting little kids? Well, they started it. If they don't want to get hit, they shouldn't attack me. <laughs> Noel looks a bit left out by this conversation. Why just Dia? How come you're not asking me? Because I already know the answer for you. Zero. It's true. You're a weakling. How rude. Noelle, let's arm wrestle. I want to show a car so she hasn't seen this. I don't want to. I always lose. I'll let you use both hands this time. Noelle makes a face. Reluctantly, she claps both her hands on Dia's so it's sandwiched in between hers. Three, two, one. Noelle strains against Dia's grip with all her might. Uh, ha, uh. Dia's arm still hasn't budged an inch. With a free hand, Dia casually continues to eat fried rice. <laughs> you stop that. A car show. What do you think of the weather today? Stop toying with me. If I did that, I'd break your wrist. You know what I mean. Dia pins Noelle's arm to the table as gently as possible. Dang, this is like some fox and the hound shit. Normally the scrawny nerds herd together so jocks like Dia don't stuff them into trash cans. How did you two even end up friends? Don't remember. You don't remember? You're always just there by default. That is not what happened. You had one bad ear, so you had a lot of trouble making sense of what anyone was saying. You'd just play wall ball against yourself or run laps on the track. That sounds about right. One day, someone brought in Krispy Kreme donuts for their birthday. I didn't like donuts, so I... You don't like donuts? I don't like donuts. They're disgusting. I don't like donuts. Disagree. Her taste buds are broken. Anyway, I gave mine to you. And in exchange, I received your undying and completely unwanted loyalty. You followed me around everywhere. You were a major inconvenience. I don't remember any of this. How do you not remember? You were so extreme. Whenever the teachers tried to separate us, you'd start crying. I seriously don't remember any of this. It's probably because your birthday's in November. You were almost a full year younger than me. A year is a big gap when you're five. True. I was probably like a toddler. Sorry. I forgive you. That's hella kawaii. <laughs> Never use that phrase ever again. Oh my god, face palming Noelle is so good. What phrase? You know what phrase. I like this very much accurately depicts what it is like to be an obnoxious nerd in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? She's talking to me. No, go away. Dia looks widely around for Noel, Noel or Karsha to help her, but they've both already gone ahead to the classroom. I remember you. You were... What is she saying? I've never met her in my life. New clubs are... Interest... Crap. Can't really make out the words. I'll just nod at the appropriate times. We're collecting signatures to... Approved. Finger hands Dia clipper with signature seat on it. Uh, what is this? Don't sign it. Don't sign it. Bye! Dia walks away in the middle of the conversation. She quickly enters the classroom before the girl can stop her. Whew! I feel like we almost accidentally signed a pro prop 8 thing. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's where the story was baiting us. Yep. Inside, Akarsha and Noelle are playing cards. Ow! Oh, my back. Time to reveal your hand in three, two, one. Noelle and Akarsha flip their cards over. <laughs> Why is there a Yu-Gi-Oh card? The card to touch it with her index finger. This is Exodia, the forbidden one. Think outside the box. Taco Bell. You can't do this! 
<laughs> a card that reaches across the decks to take one of no Noelle's cards. What are you doing? You said you were going to play this normally. There's no rule in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> saying you can't eat the enemy's cards. We're... <laughs> we're playing poker! Why is this so funny? There's no rule in poker saying you can't eat the enemy's uh, cards. The classic Airbud defense. <laughs> Class starts. This concludes Noel and Akarsha's daily afternoon... Whatevs. Struggle. Struggle. Alright, just one more period before the day's over. Looking flushed, Noel wipes sweat off her brow. Why is it so hot? Because I'm here. Did you she... shut up. <gasps> my heart is exploding. My lungs are without air. My blood is boiling. My body is shaking. And tears are running down my face. Neil's knees weak. Palms. What are we? Huh? Noelle is unsteadily grasping the side of a bench for support. What are you doing? I feel extremely dizzy all of a sudden. As a precaution, I will remain stationary until the symptoms... Dia grabs her as she collapses. Her entire body is burning up. She must have a fever. We'll take you to the nurse's office, dude. No. Don't you dare. I need to go to next period. Attendance is 20% of my grade in gym class. Missing one day can't hurt. Gym's like a freebie anyway. No, you don't understand. It's my worst subject. I can't afford to lose any more points when my mile time is 18 minutes every week. Huh? So slow? What the? Don't make that face at me. I'm not you, D. Noelle launches into a sneezing fit. Jim's not even math or science. Is it that big of a deal? Still ruin her GPA and valedictorian status. Her parents will yell at her and be really mean. If we do, if she gets a B because we took her to the nurse's office, it'll destroy her. She's no condition to be working out either. She can't even stand without me holding her up. Let's use our heads. There's got to be a way out of this. Like what? Like, if a meteor hits Earth right now, no one will mind if Noelle skips gym class. Brilliant. If the world ends, we're saved. Even canceling school would be easier. Hold that thought. If school is canceled, if school is canceled right now, snow day, but there's no snow, then how? As long as we make it so that no one goes to class, we win. Uh... Karsh is clearly doing, going down some weird line of reasoning. Dude, I've got it. Oh, no. Dia, you stay with Noelle while I, uh, do some stuff. What stuff? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Before I tell you, you gotta promise not to get mad. What? <laughs> well, promise? Alright, I promise <laughs> not to get mad. Okay. Dia, but what if it's something insane? Then I'll just be annoyed internally. I knew I could count on you, a true homie. What about you, Frenchman? I can't promise not to get mad, just tell us already. Nope, I'm not telling you then. What about me? I agreed. Heck no. I know how it is with you two. If I tell you, you'll tell Noelle as soon as I'm gone. Damn, that's true. Adios, amigos. Wait, where are you going? Shrek Swamp. Akarsha left. Uh... I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. Why does everything have to be some kind of weird mind game with her? It's exhausting. She sounds so weak. She should rest on the bench. Dia sits then lays Noelle down so her head is resting on her lap. The lap pillow? The lap pillow? It was the lap pillow. It was the lap pillow. Nothing we can do now but wait. Do we really have to do this? This is embarrassing. Oh, come on. I've seen you throw up in a trash can at Happy Fish Swim School because you were so bad at swimming that you inhaled half a gallon of water. Compared to that, this is like a three. But this is different. This right now is unnecessary. Your thighs are so muscular that I feel like I'm resting my head on a rock. Thanks for the compliment. It wasn't a compliment. How mean. Now we definitely have to do this. <laughs> feel her forehead? Method act. Oh, okay. Dia presses her hand to Noelle's forehead. It's hot. Hotter than my own forehead? Studies show that people who try to diagnose fever by touch significantly overestimate the incidence of fever, sometimes by as much as 40%. Oh, never mind then. then why are you still touching my head? I was method acting. <laughs> Talk about ancient Chinese rock pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Would you... <laughs> All right, we gotta, we gotta get her input on this. <laughs> Would you eat a tiny two-inch tall man for a hundred million dollars? 
bet she's gonna say, of course not, that's illegal. Of course not, that's homicide, which is illegal. Called it. What is this, some dumb Akarsha question? Yeah. Did you know that in ancient China they slept on rock pillows? It's on Discovery Channel. This isn't making me feel any better. You're going back to your ancient roots. I don't want to go back to my ancient roots. How long do we have until class starts? About two minutes. Maybe you should set it to he Ugh. Maybe you should head to class. You'll be tardy. No, it's fine. I run fast. I know that's B16, but... Big. Big. <laughs> <clears throat> Suddenly, Noelle tries to sit up. Her abs are too weak, though. She falls, she fails, and flops back down. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that's you. That was my only line. It was. Becoming a fish? I just had a great idea. You know how on Valentine's Day you can pay the school to deliver roses to someone? Oh, like in middle school. You should have them secretly send you crushed candy grams for five dollars. Yeah, like that. Except here, we're more mature, so it's flowers. We should send a Karsha one with the message from your secret admirer. Imagine how confused she'll be. And we can tease her relentlessly about it. <laughs> It'll be hilarious. Okay, that is pretty funny. It's not even that mean because she'll get free flowers out of it. The secret admirer part is the best. She'll drive herself nuts trying to figure out who it is. Alternatively, we can sign it with really common initials like KC. She'll look up every guy with those initials at this school. That's good too. I can't decide if it's funnier to have her conclude it's a random person or for her to be constantly suspicious of everyone. Maybe we can do this every year, like a tradition. Oh my god, you're a genius. The first two years, we don't give her any clues. <laughs> <laughs> and then junior year, add the initials and encourage oh her to god. jump to the wrong conclusion. Noel plays the long game? That way we'll get to see both. Noel is in such a good mood that she lets out a creepy evil laugh. <laughs> We can also make the message a cipher, so she has to solve it. If you put too much math on it, she'll know it's you. Ciphers aren't math. If you have to explain to me what it is, she'll know it's you. Fair enough. How much do the roses cost? Probably around $12. $12. That's six per person. Don't really want to spend that much on a joke. Especially if it's annual. It'd be like $48 in all. We could split the cost between more people, so it's more reasonable. But we don't have any other friends who would appreciate it. You're right. Never mind, just forget it, Ben. Noelle looks immensely disappointed. <clears throat> Called it. What? Huh? Someone hacked the fire alarms to play the Super Mario Bros. theme. <laughs> Almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Students come flooding out of the classrooms. They all look really glad for an excuse to leave. Someone is evacuated to the field like we're supposed to. Can you walk? Yeah. Shit. Sorry. Do you catch Noelle? She pitches forward again. Nope. <laughs> Someone hacked the fire. How do you hack the fire alarms? I don't know. Cause you wouldn't, you wouldn't hack an act one of the actual alarms. You have to find out where like they're being routed to. I don't know how fire alarms work, so I don't know. Dia gives Noelle a piggyback ride to the field. The entire school is out here now. Sup, homies. You. I can't, can't believe, believe you've, you've done, done this. this. <laughs> I ought to report you to the authorities. But you won't. What? You think I won't just because we're fr f f f fellow acquaintances? <laughs> fellow acquaintances? She was totally about to say friends. I was not. Admit it. Friends, 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 friends. <laughs> I, I hate you more than it is physically. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, come on. What do you want me to do? Travel back in time and change Chinese culture to not see academic achievement as a moral virtue? The one who's getting saved doesn't get to complain. You broke the law. How can I not complain? Is anyone on this earth truly innocent? <laughs> you can't distract me with fake deep statements. Apparently she can and did. You don't appreciate anything I do. Where's my Nobel Peace Prize? Where's my... Thank you, Akarsha. You're awesome. I'm not thanking you for this illicit help that I never asked for. I never asked for this. Were you seriously expecting to be praised? Never have I ever been more embarrassed for my fellow man. 
I'm a hero. You're not a hero. You scumbag. Disgusting. Fine. Be that way. I'm sorry. Forgive me? You don't look even remotely sorry. I can't help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. Just don't tell on me and we'll call it even. Deal? Akarsha offers her a handshake. Noelle regards it with obvious suspicion. She cautiously releases her grip on Dia's shoulder and reaches out to shake it. Instead of grasping her hand, Akarsha grabs Noelle's wrist. She starts hitting Noelle with her own hand. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? I hate you! You stupid! You should have killed me when you had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I won't let you off so easy. This is your last warning. She said that last time, and the time before that. How are friendship? A stranger brushes past Akarsha in the crowd. Akarsha gawks after her, placing her hand on her heart. What are we... Wait, that looks like... <gasps> Dia chases after the person. Dia? Where are we going? The person. The person is so short that Dia loses the sight of her in the crowd. I lost her. Wait, I'm so sleep deprived and literally hallucinating. And you're probably not hallucinating because they got a whole character portrait and everything. Yeah. Then I Dia dreams of the past. Third grade. Whoa, I'm up to bat. Yeah. I get to hit the ball! This is so fun! Hey, look, it's a girl batting. Phew, our team got lucky. Huh. Shut up, you dumb, dumb poo poo head! She hasn't learned any swears yet. <laughs> Say one more word and I'll kill you! What? What is a word? Die! A fight broke out in the stands. <laughs> Min is beating the crap out of an old grandpa! <laughs> You better watch out, I'm a green belt. Green belt? The other adults are rushing to pull her off him. Min! Min scrambles down the rafters with everyone chasing after her. I'm taking you with me. She grabs Dia's wrist and prints off with her in tow. <laughs> Wait, stop! We got away. <laughs> I kidnapped you. Sure. Now we can do whatever we want. Come on, I brought June's bike. Min pulls Jun Sia's bike out from the bushes. She mounts the bike and looks at Dia expectantly. You sit on the rear rack. Shouldn't I be the one pedaling? I'm bigger than you. I'm training for when I get taller than you. This is never gonna happen. You'll be short forever. How do you know? Just you watch. Are you getting on or not? Dia tentatively lowers herself onto the bike rack. So where do you want to go next? Home Depot lights section. <laughs> <laughs> I... I have to know. Home Depot light section. What's so great about that? There's so many different lamps in one place. The designs are <laughs> cool and it's really bright. The rest of the store is ordinary, but that one aisle feels like a special place in another world. I like to pretend I'm furnishing a house and pick my favorites. Hmm. I know it sounds bland. You don't have to. No, let's go. It sounds like a place would be boring if I went with my parents, but fun if I go with you. If you... I know what you mean. You're with someone you like. Everywhere is interesting. Which way to Home Depot? Not sure. I haven't been there in years. Too bad. Where should we go instead, then? Where do you want to go, Min? Min, you decide. Are you sure? The place I want to take you is pretty far. So if there's anywhere else you want to go, we should probably knock that out of the way first. On second thought, let's go somewhere else first. Uh, let's go to her house. Your house. We won't be able to get in. My parents came out with me, and I don't have the keys. Fair. Oh, right, you're basically fugitive right now. Why do you want to go to my house anyway? You've already been there a bunch of times. It's fun seeing where you live. I feel like I learn something new every time I go. Really? Like what? Like you have to sleep in a girly pink blanket while June gets the Hot Wheels one. And there's a treadmill in the living room. Remember the time you tried to run out in 10 speed to impress me, fell off, and broke your arm? I... I don't remember that. You must have remembered wrong. If you brush your teeth too hard, your toothbrush bristles look hilarious. They're all flattened. What's so funny about that? I have to make sure I kill the germs. <laughs> of course you do. Where should we go instead then? My house. You want to go home already? No, that's not what I meant. You're invited, too. You can play tag and eat ice cream. But aren't your parents there? You'll get in trouble if they see me with you. <sighs> right, darn. Parents are really unreasonable about that, man. I'm not actually allowed to talk to her. So stupid. They don't know anything about her, but just because she has short hair and wears boy clothes, they hate her. They always call her a freak. Where should we go instead, then? Uh, Noelle's house? Noelle's house. We can say hi, Noelle. 
What? Why? I miss her. You just saw her yesterday. I miss her. Yuck. Oh, come on. You should give her a chance. She's so funny. She looks at every individual grape before she eats it. I know she's kind of aloof, but it'd be cool if you were friends. What's aloof mean? It's like, cold. She always tries to hide how much she likes you, like a cat. Once you get used to it, it's sort of cute. And this Min's expression dramatically sours. Yeah. If you hate it that much, we can go somewhere else. All right, you get to pick. Min, you decide. Okay. Then hold on tight. You're not telling me where we're going? It's a surprise. All right. And we're off. Oh. And we're off. Where are we going to go? After an extreme amount of effort on Min's part, they arrive at a ravine. We... We... Here! That wasn't even a coherent sentence. Are you okay? Y yeah, what kind of weakling do you think I am? Her legs must feel like jelly right now, but there's no way she'd ever admit it. Thanks for the ride! You're welcome. Anytime. This place is down this hill and through the tunnel. Should I got off? It's too steep to bike down. Yeah, let's run down. Careful, if you go through the tunnel, Slenderman's probably on the other side. <laughs> Min enthusiastically leaps off the bike and sprints down the hill. The bike is just lying there in the grass. Wait, we can't leave this. Dia picks up the bike and runs after her. Min is waiting at the mouth of the tunnel. I want to show you something on the other side. Let's walk through. She peers into the darkness with a hopeful look on her face. What are you looking for? Skeletons. Are you scared? Don't worry, I'll protect you. Hmm. Aww. Okay. Counting on you then. Yeah. I'll protect you with my life. Min grabs Dia's hand. There's water on the ground. Hold on to me so you don't slip. If I slip like this, you'll just get dragged down with me. No, I won't. Trust me. There's a squirrel scampering up the tree. One sees Dia staring at this one paw. Whoa, it waved at us! Min is waving. Min, look! That squirrel just waved at us. You're way too excited about this. Then why are you smiling? Because it's cute. No. Uh -huh. Really? I didn't know you liked squirrels. I was talking about you. Aww. Dia's face feels strangely hot. It's pitch black inside the tunnel. If it weren't for Min, Dia would actually be a bit scared right now. Don't worry, Dia. Oh, no, that's your line. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Dia. I got this. She stomps her foot. Her sketcher's like... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Dia's really impressed. Teach me how to count to ten. Okay. One... One. Two. Two. After a minute, Min has learned all the numbers up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm probably going to forget it all over again in a few days. Then I'll teach it to you again when it happens. I'll do it over and over forever if you want. I don't mind. Okay, my turn to teach you. I still remember some from last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. One, two, three. I forgot it again. Five. How come you can never remember five? It sounds off. Off does not. Does two. It doesn't feel like a five. Huh? Dogs? It takes a moment for Dia's eyes to adjust to the bright sunlight. Do you like it? But there are no dogs allowed at the dog park. <laughs> it's a dog park. Can you go in even though we don't have a dog? Yeah. I'll be the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Found this place by accident when I ran away from home. A few weeks ago, Min ran away from home because she didn't want to eat a tomato. <laughs> Park is divided into two sides. A sign above one of the gates. It reads, small dogs only, under 30 pounds. My god, they have it separated by weight. Under 30 pounds, it's so cute. Which side do you want to see? Small. 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 Min swings the gate open and gestures for Dia to go ahead. Ladies first. Mm -hmm. There's so many dogs. They're all friends with each other, dog friends. I've done and gone to heaven. Chihuahua trots up to Dia with a frisbee in his mouth. Jumps into Dia's feet and looks up at her expectantly. He wants me to throw it. Dia sits down on the bike and hurls the frisbee as hard as she can. Dog gallops after it. Catches it with a running leap. Zooms straight back to her and drops it at Dia's feet again. His wagging his tail so hard that his butt shakes. What a good dog. He's so talented. Dia's almost crying. Are you happy? This is the best day of my life. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Do you want to try throwing the frisbee? No, it's fine. I like watching you do it. Okay. Dia throws the frisbee again. The dog tears off after it with such gusto that the grass goes flying behind him. Hey, Dia. Huh? If you want, you can live in my house when we grow up. I'll buy you all the dogs you want. All the dogs? 
and I'll get to see you every day. I'll drive you around in my Corvette and make everyone jealous. Drive the dogs around too, they can wear goggles so the wind doesn't sting their eyes. Yeah, sure, whatever you want. We'll be so far from our parents that we never have to see them again. Oh my god. And if we go somewhere with snow, you can throw snowballs towards me, and I'll punch them all out of the air. It'll look pretty cool. It'll look pretty cool. Wow, what a great plan. Good punching. Okay, let's do it. Really? Are you sure? Min reaches out and gently cups Dia's face with her palms. <laughs> What's happening? This is great. Wow. Uh, uh. Dia hits her alarms and flops face first into bed. Her morning routine includes lying in bed for 10 minutes, thinking about how tired she is. Do it. <coughs> I didn't realize it back then, but now that I think about it, that was really... <coughs> Could it be that I'm a... I'm a... Lesb... Lesb... Lesbiab. Lesbiab. Les Lesbiab. Lesbiab girls. <laughs> no, that's impossible. I don't feel that way about other girls at all. Because men looked and acted like that, my heart must have confused her with a guy. Any girl would have felt something if they were straight. It was just her. Men was special, she so she was an exception. Plus, nothing ever came out of it. It's in the past now. Something like that will never happen again. So it doesn't count, right? It counts. Men hadn't moved away. What would have happened? For ten minutes, she unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands. Classmate Akarsha messaged me. Check your computato. A dia. A. Do you know what do you know what anime this is from? This particular Lucky Star. That's Lucky Star? Okay. What? What do you call a lesbian with long nails? Single. Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Dia goes outside. Hey Dia. If I were an enzyme, I'd be DNA helicase so I could unzip your genes. <sighs> Dia briskly begins walking away without her. Man, you're not even trying. The optimal counter flirt would be, then I'll be your topoi somares to help you relieve your tension. No one in the right mind would respond with that. <laughs> flirt, counter flirt. <laughs> Repulsed flirt. Return target flirt to its owner's hands and oh. you draw a card. Oh no. <laughs> hey, you know I'm just kidding, right? When there's no one around to flirt with, I flirt with you just to practice. Not funny. In her haste to catch up with Dia, Karsha trips over a crack in the sidewalk. Parkour! <laughs> <laughs> Whenever someone yells out parkour when they're they're doing anything, I keep thinking of that one part in the Dresden Files where Harry Dresden is just running around, leaping over stuff, yelling, Parkour! 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 <laughs> and there's no one around to hear him, so he's just yelling parkour to himself <laughs> over and over while hopping over stuff. It's amazing. The Prop 8 supporters are back at it again. Bad marriage! Yes, I'm Prop 8! Take the children, gay sex is sin. Hey, Dia. Imagine biting into a gusher the size of your hand. Dia imagines it. I think cool. 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 I want one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Is this a very 90s school or is it just me? I don't know. Or early thousands? I don't know. <clears throat> Locker. Dia opens her locker. I and mean, we know exactly when it's at because it's during Prop 8 campaigning, so that would have been... Uh, oh, you're right! Mid-late 2000s, right? Yeah, you're right. Dia opens the lunchbox and peers inside. There's bitter melon and Noelle stir-fry today. Dia and Noelle both hate bitter melon. You're not going to save her from the bitter melon? <laughs> Dia hefts her books and binders into her backpack. All right, I can go to class now. Rosen's a nice amber color. Looks like you can eat it, but you can't. I tried. I feel like she has tried. Rosin. Do you want to play that one more time closer to the mic so people can actually hear it? No. Okay. Dia, help me. Bonjour. Noelle smacks at Karsha really hard. Ow, how me? Noelle hands Dia the water bottle as though nothing had happened. Dia twists the blinds and conceals the cap open and returns the bottle to Noelle. Wait, don't you have to be like pretty darn muscled in order to play like string instruments well? I don't know. I guess maybe it's a different set of muscles. Thank you. Are you alright? You seem off. Think about that before you hit me. Not everything is about you. I was talking to Dia. Huh? What? But there's nothing wrong with her. Are you blind? She looks like a dog who just ate a Christmas ornament. Crap, that obvious? 
Are you devastated about tiger sharks again? What? <laughs> Dia found a picture of what tiger sharks look like the other day and was so disappointed that she had to go lie down. <laughs> I don't even know what she was expecting. Okay, I seriously doubt that's the issue right now. Dia, let me rephrase. You are secretly worried about something, and you can tell me what it is. I can't tell her that I'm... I knew it. She's becoming emo. All the warning signs were there. The black hair, the... We all have black hair. Dia, you know you can tell me anything, right? Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. I like to imagine that sh that Noelle can intuit what Dia's internal monologue is. Like, they've just been friends for that long. What's a flyer say? Flyer says, join the new baseball club. Beginners welcome. <gasps> it's a baseball club. Baseball club. It'll probably be all guys. What? Don't girls play baseball too? I saw on TV before. You're thinking of softball, not baseball. What's the difference? Softball's like baseball put through Google Translate and Mac. Everything's off by a few degrees. Dia takes a closer look at the flyer. The first meeting is this Friday. It'll be scary going all by myself, but I promise. I made a promise back then. She would have been disappointed if I didn't go. Yeah. Yeah! Baseball club! Baseball club. Caseball club. <laughs> Are you going to be okay on your own with a bunch of strangers? <laughs> I thought so. If you're going, I'm going with you. <gasps> but don't you hate sports? Of course I won't participate. I'll just utilize the time to do homework. Thanks. I feel a bit better now. Back by unpopular <laughs> demand, me. Oh. Why are you here? I'm bored. There's not enough drama around here for my taste. I'll be the idea man. <laughs> we don't need an idea man. New baseball rule. Everyone gets a brick. What you do with it is up to you. Baseball without limits. <laughs> just go home already. <laughs> is it just me or is the car so like actually fucking hilarious? This game is so well written. It is really good. There's a stranger over there. Wow, she's taller than me. Dia accidentally makes eye contact with her. Hey! <gasps> stranger starts walking over. Crap, she's coming this way. She looks intimidating. If I say the wrong thing, she'll think I'm weird. If I lie motionless, <laughs> I'll think I'm asleep or dead. Yeah, good plan. Dia plays dead. No. Dia, don't do this. Hey, you guys are here to join the baseball club, right? I'm Krissa. They <laughs> call me... Ukubshub. <laughs> no, they don't. It's Welsh. It's not Welsh. Her name is Akarsha. I'm so sorry. She's always like this. And this is Dia. Get up. Oh, wait, we actually played dead? Yes. <laughs> Noelle's trying to pull an unresponsive Dia back into upright position. Really? Uh, is she okay? She's fine. She just takes a while to warm up to people. No kidding. <laughs> she did this to me for the entire month of September. <laughs> Dia's finally be given up on faking her death. Quiet kid, huh? Why does everyone always say that? I'm not that quiet. She's not much of a talker, but she's shredded. Look at how ripped her abs are. Akarsha tries to lift up Dia's shirt to expose her stomach. Calmly, Dia catches Akarsha's wrist and twists it behind her back. Ah, okay, mercy. Dia played a lot of baseball back in elementary school. That's great. What position did she play? Uh, she's the person standing behind the the swinging place. You need the batter's box. I'm gonna catch her. The swinging place? Really, ma'am? <laughs> Shut up. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> What do you call the bat, then? The baseball stick? I said shut up. What about you, Akarsha? I can bench press over 6,092,000 nanograms. <laughs> <laughs> That's barely two pounds. Sounded better the way I said it. Chris turns to Noelle and points at her. What about you? You haven't introduced yourself yet. Oh, I'm not here to join. We probably won't meet again. That's a shame. I could try to change. I should try to change your mind. Strongly advise against it. Your efforts will prove futile. If you say so. In any case, we're all glad you all came. We'll be starting the meeting in a bit. Meantime, you guys can get your paperwork from Liz first. Gotcha. Krista goes off to greet some other girls who showed up. 
I guess she isn't too scary after all. She looked like the kind of person who'd walk into a pizza restaurant she one time six years ago and yell, Remember us! <gasps> Hello, can I help you? You must be Liz. Yep. She hands them their forms. I don't need one. I'm not here to join. Aw, are you sure? We'd love to have you. No, you really don't. I'm not the athletic type. Joining us would do you some good, don't you think? We need all the players we can get, so don't be afraid we'll reject you or anything like that. Play baseball, play baseball, <clears throat> play baseball. We'll accept you no matter what, whether you're good, bad, dumb, weird, unathletic. What's with all those insults mixed in? And no, I'm genuinely not interested. I hate sports. I'm just here for Dia. That's so sweet of you. It's not as though it takes a lot of effort to sit here and do nothing. I coincidentally happen to be free, free today anyway. Aw, oh, you don't have to get all embarrassed about it. I'm not getting embarrassed. Liz smiles at Dia, who shrinks back in fear. I'm so glad you came. Changed your mind about the club, have you? I knew you'd come around. Oh, is that what she was trying to get us to su- Whew! <laughs> Reverse baited. <laughs> I was at one of your games when you were little. Creepy. You were so scared. That you remember that? Everyone would back up whenever you came up to bat. By the way, why is everyone in this club a girl? What? what? They are? Look, there's us four, Krissa, and then some other random girls over there. That's so odd. So it isn't on purpose. Nope, I don't know why those other girls joined. What a strange coincidence. <laughs> Camera zooms out and it's got this... <laughs> oh, what's the uh, what's the boss lady's name from um, New Game? Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, forgot. Like, she's orchestrated the whole thing like an eagle, <laughs> like eagle jump. It's like, mm, it didn't have to be this way, but I made it so. <laughs> oh. Are you sure you guys didn't, like, subconsciously do it? Why would we subconsciously want a group of girls? Because guys are like communism. They're good in concept, but in reality they suck. Oof. When you gather enough guys into a group, they suddenly become a bunch of douchebags. It's like magic. What kind of overgeneralization is that? It's not racist if it's true. Do you ever see me in a circle of people talking and not say anything the entire time? There's no reason for me to be here. I wonder how it's so easy for them to just talk. Dia stares off into space. Eventually, the conversation draws to a close and Liz goes off to attend to other club members. Finally. Whispering. Dude, I just can't get over how weird her name is. That kind of name is Liz. It's probably short for something. Like what? Liz... Bien? Lesbian? That's not a name. Yes, it is. It's the name of an island. Lesbos. Lizard man? That'd be a thousand times weirder than Liz in the first place. No, wait. I've got it. Her parents met at a pet co when the lizards went on sale, but there was only one left. So then they were like, darn, we got to get married and share it. No one would get married over that. I mean, we got married for less. <laughs> <laughs> We don't even have a lizard. Right? We could. We could, but we choose not to. It's a, it's a conscientious objection. <laughs> You'd be surprised, man. Some people are hella desperate. Nobody is that desperate. And then the lizard man was born. They gave their kid a name that paid homage to her lizard origins, but in a low-key way. Totally plausible. Myth confirmed. Numel is trying really hard not to smile. Myth not confirmed. Her name could just be Liz by itself. No, nah, that's boring. My beautiful romance is way better. Your beautiful romance was set in Petco. <laughs> so picky, man. What kind of Frenchman are you? Weird name. No mustache. No romance. Look, how is my name weird? All names have to originate from somewhere. I don't get why you're so fixated on it because it's strange. Isn't Noel normally a name you give to kids born in December? My parents are Asian. They don't know that. It's like how there's a guy in our class named Sky because his parents didn't know it's a girl name. There's also a Chinese guy in the grade above us named Stone. 
That's an awesome name. That is an amazing name. That's a fantastic name. Stone. I'm pretty sure my parents stole my name from a random girl who lived down the street. They probably didn't know a lot of Western names and just thought it sounded good. But still, what kind of Chinese parents would name their kid Noel? It doesn't match up at all. It'd be like if I had a kid and named him Naruto. Noel looks really taken aback. That... that would be weird. Literally all your ancestors going back for centuries had names like Wong Kar Wai or Mulan or whatever. And then there's you, Combo Breaker. Also, do you ever think about how crazy it is that we're friends? Any part of history up to now we never would have met. And even if we did by some miracle, we wouldn't speak the same language. Wouldn't even be able to communicate. Well, you and Akarsha could. No, we wouldn't. They don't speak Hindi in Tamil Nadu, right, Madrasi? Don't call me that. What's wrong with calling you Madrasi when you're from Madras? What's wrong with calling you an idiot when you are one? It's sad imagining Noelle all by herself on a little island in Taiwan. What do you mean all by herself? It's not like I'd be completely alone without you two. <laughs> uh... Stop looking skeptical. <laughs> I would be able to make different friends. Sure, if you say so. All right, if you say so. <laughs> You're the worst. I hate you. Chris brings her fingers to her lips and lets out a sharp whistle to get their attention. All right, guys, meeting is starting. But their team is called the Monarchs. Butterflies. I get it. I got it. I got it. I got the we point. We got there. Hey, everybody. I got the point. We, we did it. We did it. All right. Game over. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Everything was building up to that one moment. <laughs> Everyone gathers in front of Krista and Liz. Also monarchs because they're all women. Huh. Wait, but is that what... Doesn't monarch just mean someone who... No, because there's a masculine form. There's patriarch. Monarch and patriarch. Matriarch and patriarch. Monarch is just is monarch a ruler, right? What? Yeah. Are you fucking about to blow my mind? Did I not know words? Monarch. Definition. Hold on. A sovereign head of state, especially a king, queen, or ever. wow. Okay, never mind. You're right. Monarch is gender neutral. Fucking Google won't let me spam the pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the baseball club. As you're probably aware, our school doesn't have an official baseball program anymore, so we made one ourselves. You guys can think of it as a baseball team light edition. Or a cheap budget edition, since we can't afford to hire managers and stuff. Light edition sounds less scrappy, like Coke Zero. Anyhow, you can read up on the details on your club membership form. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a recreational club for fun, not an official sp school sports team, so the paperwork is really simple. It's just a membership fee and a sheet your parents have to sign. Basically, the sheet says if you get hurt or whatever while you're here, you can't sue us. Or our practice schedule is in there too, though we're still negotiating our game dates. The girl standing in front of Dia raises her hand. Game dates? Who are we playing against? Whoever we can get, mostly teams from other schools. But don't worry, it'll be pretty casual. Hopefully we'll have enough members to at least fill the roster by then. Any other questions? If every person on Earth aimed a laser pointer at the moon at the same time, would it visibly change color? Probably not. All that laser light would diffuse. Any relevant questions? <laughs> Silence. Then let's all introduce ourselves with the cheesy icebreaker activity. Say your name, grade one fun fact about yourself. Dia immediately wants to go home. No, I hate these. I can never think of any fun facts. I'm boring. I'll start. I'm Krista. I'm a senior. Fun fact. Uh. I have one. She reads cryptic articles at night and scares herself and then is afraid to get up and use the bathroom. If you're going to choose a fact for me, at least choose a flattering one. My turn now. I'm Liz, and I'm a senior too. Her fun fact is that she can lick her elbow. I thought that was supposed to be impossible. Do it. Liz does it. What the? What is she, a clown? Dia has gone back to being afraid of Liz again. Liz gestures at another girl to go next. Watashi wa sakura desu. And I'm Yuki. There's no way those are your real names. Hey, it doesn't hurt to humor them. Support their interests. 
<laughs> the bleach t-shirt. Oh, whoops, hold on. Watashi wa am in 10th grade. All right, Sakura. Watashi wa am in 10th grade, too. All right, Yuki. <laughs> Stop talking like that. <gasps> I found my people. <laughs> the next girl up looks more normal. I'm Esther. Wait, why are you here? I tried to recruit you before. You said you weren't interested in baseball. I'll give it a chance. All right. Which anime has baseball in it? What? I never said it was because of... Which anime has baseball in it? It's Ookuri. Don't tell me that's why Sakura and Yuki are here, too. Heck no. I'm here because of Daya no Ice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is it a crime to like anime? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> is it a crime to like anime? Yes. yes. D you heard it here first. Anime is a crime. Dia watches the icebreaker's progress with mounting terror. Her palms have grown clammy, knees weak, arms... I already made that joke this recording. Yeah. <laughs> like when she's getting ready to say here during roll call. Crap, it's almost my turn. I still can't think of any cool facts. I like crunching on ice cubes. When I go to people's houses, I'm too scared to ask where the cups are, so I go to the bathroom and drink for the faucet instead. <laughs> Whenever an assembly is over and we're supposed to help carry a folding chairs back, I secretly hope people notice how many I'm holding. These are all so bad. What the... By now, three other people have gone. It's Akarsha's turn. <laughs> what up, ding-dongs? I'm a freshman. Ding-dongs. My name is... Wikishi. <laughs> Fun fact. I once found two mutant tater tots that were fused together and sold them on eBay for 40 bucks. <laughs> Selling things sounds stressful. I would have just eaten them. Newell is the next one over, so everyone looks at her expectantly. Skip me, I'm not here to join. Let's move on to Dia, shall we? All eyes are on Dia now. Okay, calm down, me. All I have to do is say, I'm Dia. But wait, didn't she just say my name? Does seem redundant if I repeat it? No, I'm overthinking this. I just say that like everyone else. I'm Dia. Yeah, so far so good. What else was I supposed to say? Ugh! Panic is rising in Dia's chest. Party messed up, I'm embarrassing myself in front of everyone. This is the worst, even worse than reading a passage out loud in class. I shouldn't have come here. Dia bolts from the meeting. Distantly, she can hear Noel calling out after her. Dia, wait. I can't go back now. <laughs> Powered by nervous energy, Dia barrels into the locker room. Her plan now is basically to run as far as her legs will carry her. Suddenly, feel like running three or four miles. Dia crashes into someone. Huh? Oh, I landed on my butt. Someone's lying on top of her. They roughly grab the front of Dia's shirt. Watch where you're going, motherfu- <gasps> Dia! It's you! Min hugs her. Wow, this is great! I promised I'd come back, didn't I? I never let him go of you again. Okay. I gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Need to get up. I can't get up, I'm gay. Uh, um, actually this ground's really gross and dirty. I can see other people's hair on it. Oh, okay, I'll let you up. Then gets up and looks up Dia up and down as she staggers to her feet. Wow, I almost forgot how pretty you are. You could be a model. Aww. Aww. I almost forgot she did this all the time. You didn't get taller than me. Hey, I'm still growing. You're off by almost a foot. There's still hope. You really never give up, do you? Of course not. I'll work hard so I can take you. Overtake. I mean overtake you. In an attempt to hide her embarrassment, Min turns her head to the side and points to her ear. Look, I have piercings now. Don't I look cool? You look cool. And I got a butterfly knife. A knife? Min pulls a knife out. Watch this. Min flips the knife open and does a trick. It looks really dangerous. Whoa, Min is so brave. I missed you. I missed you too. I forgot Hi. what the pronunciation was. Hi. Sarong, eh? Something like that. <laughs> 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 I like to find ah! She remembered the whole thing ah. Someone runs into the rock room, locker room She's squeezing so hard for breath that Dia knows who it is before looking Dia, there you are Everyone is looking for you You <laughs> How you Why are you here That's my line Oh sorry that's your line have I taken over all the characters again? All right, I'll take Min. I want to be Min. Min's okay, the best. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can't believe Dia still lets a weakling like you hang out with her. You, you Empire State Building. Min does a trick with her butterfly knife. 
Why do you have a knife? Put that away. I'll put it away. In your heart. Uh. Eh. Uh. Shut up. It sounded cooler in my head. No one even said anything. Anyway, aren't knives like that illegal in California? Whoop. Ah. Oh. Wanted to, I could report you to the police. Min reluctantly puts the knife away. Fuck you. Min threateningly draws closer to Noelle and whispers into her ear, voice low. Dramatic fleck is slightly ruined by the fact that Min has to step on top of a storage bid to be taller. I hate you. I hate you more than the stringy things on bananas. <laughs> Why? I didn't even do anything. Shut up. I won't lose to you. What are you even talking about? This isn't a sports anime. Someday, Dia is going to realize she's out of your league. You're not even taller than her anymore, so all your advantages are gone. I don't- what? When she doesn't like you anymore, I'll gut you and feed you to her dog. She doesn't even have a dog. I'll buy her a dog and train it to eat you. Someone else ran into the locker room. It only takes a second for Dia and Noelle to recognize the sound of a car says flip-flops. Hey, Chris and Liz are looking for you to- Eh. Eh. Uh. Uh, have I missed something here? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? I asked first, jackass. Wow, almost cut myself on this <laughs> edge. <laughs> Before a car she can react, Min grabs the front of her jacket and slams her back into the wall. You want a piece of me? Uh, whoa. Not gonna lie, if you were taller, this would be pretty hot. Min punches a car shed in the face. Oh no. Stop it. Tia picks up Min and throws her several feet across the room. Min. You stay back. I'll handle this. No, but... Is anyone gonna explain to me what's going on here? Who's this emo shorty? Who are you calling short? But you are short. Min charges at Akarsha. Yeah! Akarsha kicks her foot out so the flip-flop flies off. It hits Min's face with a loud slap. Huh? Mm. Min tackles Akarsha to the ground. You think you're so smart, huh? Well, guess what? I hate smart people. Harder, not smarter. <laughs> Her hands close around Akarsha's neck. In a panic, Akarsha scrabbles at Min's wrist, but it's no use. Use your head, you stupid clown. If you die, I'll kill you. <laughs> Akarsha sticks a hand down her own leggings. What the fuck? This better not be your kink or so... Oh, sorry, though. Akarsha smears her period blood-caked hand across Min's face. Ugh. Min, let go. <laughs> Ew. Yuck. In the confusion, Akarsha staggers her feet, gasping for breath. Noel rushes to support her. Akarsha slings her arm over Noelle's shoulder. She accidentally brushed Noelle with her bloody hand. You contaminated me too. You took that. That was my only line. Oh shit, that was. Noelle shoves line. Akarsha away, leaving her to fend for herself. Akarsha menacingly holds out her dirty hand in men's direction like a, le a weapon. Min backs away slow, desperately avoiding being touched by the period blood hand. Stay away. Can't touch this. <laughs> you, you nasty ass hoe. That's me. If I can't win by being a kung fu master, I'll win by being a piece of garbage. Min looks weirdly moved by Karsha's words. You crazy bitch. Who are you? <laughs> they call me Rail Tracer. Literally no one calls you that. Quiet, you. Min has stopped attacking completely now. In fact, she looks kind of impressed. You're the worst scum ever. Let's be friends. <gasps> really? So we cool? I... <laughs> I guess. More importantly, that was really gross just now, so I never want to fight you again. Let's start over. I'm Min. Min? As in the delinquent kid, the one who knifed someone? Yeah, got a problem with that? Are you kidding me? I've been looking for you. I need a dumb rebel friend <laughs> to enable me to make bad decisions. They're getting along? What's happening? I don't like this. They're clean and Akarsha makes a fist and offers it out to Min. Bros? Bros. They fist bump. Method act. <laughs> Be the ye to my haw. The knuckles to my enchilada. The human to my centipede. Do, do you mean echidna? Was she talking about knuckles the echidna? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. We can annoy Noelle together. I have a terrible feeling about this. I mean, this quickly taking the opportunity to wipe her face on a car's windbreaker. Ew, no, stop. It's your own damn blood. I don't want it either, man. Noel tries to wipe her contaminated arm on a Karsha, too. Karsha dodges to avoid it. Ugh. Oh. Dia, hold her down. Okay. No, no, please, <laughs> Dia, homie, listen. <laughs> with brutal efficiency, Dia grabs a Karsha's wrist, covers the bloody hand with the plastic bag, and ties it shut. Then she pins the Karsha to the ground, thrashing and screaming. 
Carson and Liz come through the door with the rest of the team following after them. Carson, Dia, Noel, and Min freeze mid-scuffle, still covered in blood. Good, you're all hit. What the? Noel points accusingly at Min. It's all her fault. Dia did nothing wrong. What is your fault for being annoying? You started it. You called me names first. Okay, we don't care who started it. Liz stumbles over Carson falling flip-flop on the ground. Whose shoe is this? Oh, mine. Why isn't it on your foot? I kicked it off. Why? She hit me. Carson points at Min. How old are you guys? Five? Exasperated, Krista turns to Min. And you're Min? You're here to play baseball too? Yeah, I got here late. Well, Min, I'm Krista. She has a knife. You damn snitch. Hand the knife over. Why should I? Because if you don't, I won't let you play baseball. You... You can do that? I can do that. Min looks very shocked. You can have it back when we're done, but you don't need it here. Min pulls the knife out of her pocket and gives it to Krissa. All of them. Come on, we don't have all day. <laughs> Sigh. Reluctantly, <laughs> Min shakes her jacket out. Several more knives clatter to the ground. Krissa puts them all on top of a cabinet in the corner of the room. It's too tall for Min to reach. She sadly looks up at them. Let's go to the field and actually play some baseball now. We're going to lock this place up so you can leave your backpacks here. Well, oh well, wait. I need mine. I'm going to do my homework. Sorry, if you're here, you're playing. I refuse. So you want to do this the hard way? Good, because I love the hard way. Then I have no obligation to stay here and argue with you. Dia's fine now. I'm going home. Really? Then where are your house keys? What kind of a question is that? They're right here in my... No, whirls to the spot where she put down her book bag earlier. It's gone. Krisha adds Noelle's book bag to the top of the cabinet. No! <laughs> Come on, suffering builds character. I don't want character. Guess we're all playing baseball now? Why does this game rule? <laughs> this game is so amazing. Oh. This seems like a good spot to take a recording break, though. Yeah. Oh, because I think we're about to get someone else's backstory. I think so. Yeah, yeet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to eat there. Recording break! <laughs>